Hey, what's up everybody, AWOL here with another OBS Studio tutorial. I'm gonna teach you how to play one video back within OBS, multiple videos back within OBS, and I'm gonna also teach you how to play a video that's on the internet back in OBS for your stream, for your recording, for your presentation, whatever it may be. Let's get into the tutorial, let's not waste any time. Time is of the essence. Create a new profile and a new scene collection, as always, with my tutorials to follow along with me, and create two different scenes. I've named mine Start and Video today, so you can start fresh and you can understand what's going on. Once you do that, go to your second scene. That's where we're gonna add the one video playback method. You have to have this video downloaded onto your computer in order to use this method. You go to Sources down here and click Add. You then scroll up to Media Source. And then here, you can name whatever that video is. Name it whatever your video is called. And then you go to Browse Within this, within this menu and you go find that video on your computer. I'm gonna go get an episode of my podcast, The Digital Drop Podcast, where we help creators and folks like you that are working from home succeed. And then I have it locked and loaded here within OBS. Really quick before we leave this menu, you can choose to loop the video. You can choose whether you want it to restart or not when it becomes active, okay? And you need to be careful about those settings and choose that at this stage before you add the video don't forget to choose those settings. Boom, videos within OBS, no extra software, all within OBS. If you want it to go full screen, right click or Apple command click, then go to transform and do fit to screen and boom, your video is full screen. Notice how it added the visuals here and it also added an input for your audio here. So it's gonna show you the audio from the video actually within this box down here, which is really great. That's awesome that it does that, it makes it very, very simple for you. So now, when you go to another scene in OBS, and then you come into this one, it will automatically restart the playback on this video as soon as you arrive on the scene. If you choose to uncheck that box, it'll play the video back where it last left off when you left this scene. Cool? All right, that's how you add one video. Let's remove that, and I'm gonna show you how to add multiple videos. So we're gonna go back down here to the plus button down under sources, as always. Click that plus button, and then go up to VLC Video Source. If you haven't already downloaded VLC Media Player, do it. Link in the description below, it is a free software. It is the best video playback software in the world, and it's free. Do that first. It'll make sure you have all the drivers and everything you need to do this, and then hit OK. And what you're doing right now is you're creating a playlist within OBS. You're not using any external software at all. Just using OBS to play back a multiple video playlist. Pretty sick, right? So what you're gonna do is hit the plus button over here on the side and then add files. Once you do that, I'm just gonna grab two episodes of my podcast, the Digital Drop Podcast. Recent ones we did on challenges creator face and how production quality doesn't matter. Cool. Locked and loaded. Before you leave, make sure you select the settings here. Do you want all the videos to loop? Check that box. Do you wanna shuffle it up? Is this just like placeholder videos? Check that box or not. And there are custom options here about what happens with this playlist when you move in and out of this scene. Do you want the video to stop when you can't see this scene? Do you want it to pause when you can't see in this scene? Do you want it to always play in the background even when you're not on this scene? You need to decide what you want that to be like, depending on how the flow of your program is and of your recording and of your stream is, okay? Once you add it here, boom, it just automatically appears. Right click or Apple command click, transform and fit to screen. And as you can see, once again, it automatically added the audio and it automatically added the visuals all within OBS with the click of a button. Pretty sick, right? Really, really nice. Okay. The reason why I pointed out that it added the audio automatically, which you can slide that volume bar up and down right here to control your volume. The reason why I pointed that out is this third method does not automatically add the audio. If you wanna play a video on the internet, add the audio source first by hitting the play button down here, or the plus button down here again, going to audio input capture, hitting okay and select whatever your mixer is. So you're gonna need a USB mixer, probably a USB mic, some sort of USB audio interface to pull this off properly. Mine is just called the Rodecaster Pro. And as you can see, there's now an audio input that's capturing stuff on my computer here. You're gonna need that first before you try to play back a video on the internet, okay? Now that we have the audio intact, we need to add the visuals. 
you can add one of two methods, either display capture, where it captures the entire screen, or window capture, it just captures one window that has that specific video on it. Today, we're just gonna do display capture. I have an entire video about capture methods in the playlist below, if you want to see that. I'm gonna select display number three where I'm playing back this video, there it is. Another episode of the Digital Drop Podcast, my creator podcast, and hit okay. There it is, there's the video on the internet. Now, I'm gonna turn the volume down so I don't blow you guys up, but when I play this video back, it should play through uh, the volume mixer down here. Check it out. It is just ridiculous, it's low quality garbage. What Reddit threads are you on? All of them, man, top talent, I'm on like, <laughs> Twitch fails, I'm on all of the hottest, <laughs> the hottest subreddits. There you go, so that's us joking about subreddits and social media strategy, you get the point. It played the video back in terms of the visuals, and then it gave you the audio here within OBS because you added that audio source. Quick recommendation, do like I'm doing right now. Have yourself on camera reacting to that video if you're gonna play an internet video back, especially one that's not yours. And I would say keep it within context of the site that it's on, display the channel that it's on, make sure you talk about what the source of the video is when you're reacting to any videos of any description on the internet, just to cover your butt in terms of fair use and crediting the other person's content that you're showing within your presentation or your recording or your live stream, okay? So that's how you do it. Let me know if you have any comments or questions on how to play videos back. There are other methods, but I just show you the three best ones for this specific video. Comment below, I'm happy to help you out. And while you're at it, Come check out my podcast, the Digital Drop Podcast. There's a link right below in the pinned comment where you can come check out our show. I've got a playlist down there. You can watch episodes, social media strategy, uh, how to avoid creator burnout. We talk about the best tools, tips, and tricks to produce online video. Let me know if you if you like our podcast. We got a couple thousand people watching us every episode, so so far so good. Go create, go have fun, and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.